Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, yesterday hosted her on a joint counterpart, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, at the White House in Washington, D.C. They met to discuss Nigeria-U.S. relations and Nigeria's energy transition plan, according to statements from both camps. It was truly a pleasure to meet with Vice President Kamala Harris to discuss Nigeria's hashtag energy transition plan and other interests between our government, that's quoting Professor Yemir Shibadio. The United States has been a long-standing partner of ours and has since our independence consistently supported Nigeria's aspirations for economic and social development. Urgent uh, issue that affects uh, the continent of Africa and, and the world, which is the issue of food insecurity. As you know, the United States has committed $7 billion in food security and humanitarian assistance to African countries over the past year alone. Nigeria has also been an important partner in upholding the international rules-based order, whether it is tackling the democratic backsliding that we've been seeing in West Africa or standing up for Ukraine at the United Nations. The United States remains committed to supporting free and fair elections in Nigeria next February, uh, elections which we have confidence will be uh, peaceful and reflect the will of the people. And of course, we do feel very strongly, as I know you do, that Nigeria is and must remain a bastion of democracy for West Africa. More broadly, Africa's leadership is key to confronting all of the global challenges we face. And to that end, Nigeria is key. So we look forward to strengthening our partnership. I bring you greetings from President Joe Biden. I was just with him. And he and I remain committed to strengthening our relationship with Nigeria. Uh, the United States has been a very firm supporter of, of, of all of our aspirations, especially our economic and social development ambitions. The United States has always been with us. We also uh, must appreciate uh, the firm support that we've received from the U.S., especially in our fight against terrorism within our borders and in the Sahel. And, uh, of course, the very timely donation of vaccines, 4 million vaccines, um, as we battled uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And that, of course, is extremely useful. But in addition to, as we pointed out, our shared commitment to democracy and the international rules-based system, we very strongly believe that you know, in the coming years we will uh, need to work together again on so many global challenges, and they are as varied and as you know, and they come up very frequently now, from promoting peace and security to uh, tackling global health issues and climate change, and of course economic adversity. I must also congratulate you, of course, on the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. And, and I think in particular it's historic, especially for those of us who are paying attention to all the issues on climate change. The climate change component is really ambitious and we think that it shows U.S. leadership in this, in the area of climate change. And we're all excited to queue up behind the U.S. and see that we get uh, many of these objectives uh, on the way. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.